So first, before I invite our introducers forward, let me just say that our honorees this year are joining a really impressive and wonderful group of past honorees. And once you've joined the club, you're always part of the club. So. Uh, and so we just want to recognize a few of the folks who are here with us tonight. Uh, Bob Brownstein. Carmen and Al Castellano, I don't see them yet, but they may be joining us. Raimundo Espinosa. Mike and Mary Ellen Fox. And Chris Wilder. The guy who makes you all come up to the I don't know, something, something about werewolves or something? I can remember that. Anyway. Oh, okay. Well, he got you here, so we love him. Okay, great. So now I'm going to invite Tony Burke and Larry Stone to introduce our honorees. And first, Tony. Thank you very much. Uh, Tony is the Vice President, Head of External Affairs in the CEO's office at SAP. I had to look down because that's a long title. A big job, it seems to me. So, uh, as I understand it, the CEO of SAP recruited Tony because when he saw her and her amazing talent and leadership as the CEO of City Year Silicon Valley, he said, I need that woman at my massive company. Come here. All right. So, yeah. Our community builder honoree. Thank you, Akemi. First, let me just say, Akemi, as your friend and your fellow ALF colleague, I am so proud to be here. I'm so proud to be part of PACT, and I'm excited to introduce Dolores. But before I do, Akemi, I do just want to give you another round of applause. Your leadership in this community is so kind. And I'm sure she didn't ask me to say this, and I am sure at some point, I hope somebody gets up here and asks you guys to support if you haven't, and if you have, that you increase your support. So, Kemi, I'm really excited to say my husband and I tonight are going to give some money. It's our first time giving to PACT, and, and it is because we are in critical times, and you need our resources, and more of us need to give you our resources. <laughs> Okay, but, but tonight I'm here uh, to introduce a great friend, um, Dolores Alvarado. Dolores is the CEO of Community Health Partnerships. She's an incredible, incredible leader, uh, somebody I aspire to be like. Dolores is over here in the green. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited to be here not only because Dolores is a friend, but she's also a fellow ALF classmate, similar to Walter and Tony, uh, Penny, and Cynthia, who, who graciously hosted tonight. PACT is honoring Dolores for her leadership in health over, for, in the community for over 40 years. As the CEO of the Community Health Partnership, she's a fierce advocate for affordable, accessible health care for diverse communities. She's a champion for over 40 clinics in San Mateo and Santa Clara County. When I asked her tonight as we caught up as, in, in the back, I said, Dolores, what's keeping you up at night? And, and I said, what, you know, what are you looking ahead to? And, some people might say, well, I'm so honored to be here, and I'm, 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 I just feel so grateful to, to, to receive this award. You know what Dolores told me? She said, I'm just, I'm, I am like fraught. I'm, PAC's work in building healthy and just communities is important, as is the community, healthy, community health partnerships. But she said, what's keeping me up at night is a story about parents who are worried to go to our clinics because ICE might come and find them. She said, our, our families, our families, on average, make $48,000 gross for a family of four. I want you to hear that, we're in Los Altos. $48,000 for a family of four. She said, these are the families that are not coming to our clinics. These are the parents who aren't getting the services they need, but equally unjust, these are the children who are not gonna get the services that they need. So while tonight, Dolores, I know you are excited to accept this award, I want you to know that as the CEO of Community Health Partnerships, you also have my support, and I hope you have the support of many others in the room. But as a, as a woman who grew up in Mexico, she experienced firsthand the critical importance of health services and access to culturally appropriate care. Throughout her career in the Alameda and Santa Clara counties, Dolores has worked not only to serve individuals, but to create policies. Every time I see Dolores, I'm like, were you in DC this week or Sacramento? Because <laughs> it's one or the other usually. Since her early years and to this day, she, when she's confronted with a barrier, she remains undaunted, unwavering, and committed to figuring out a way to get things done. 
She's a true community builder, and I can think of nobody better to accept this award as a role model, champion, and leader to the rest of us. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Dolores Alvarado in accepting this award. pleasure uh, to say the I can't even speak at this moment give me give me a second it's an honor truly an honor it's a pleasure to be with friends to be with my family my husband my daughter uh, my board of directors my staff etc and many many of you that I've been working who I've been working with for the last 25 years here in Santa Clara County uh, when Akemi called me, I've told the story already, she called me at 8.30 at night on um, some Tuesday night. And when I saw her number pop up, I really thought there was an issue, you know, a problem, a, an emergency, or she was upset with me or something. <laughs> because it was 8.30 at night and I really hesitated to pick up the phone. And then when, she, uh, when I finally did, she said, I hope you're sitting down. And I thought, okay, for sure, there is an issue, a, a big issue, I need to go to Sacramento with her or something. Well, anyway, the, the, the end of the story is that she wanted to ask me if I would consider accepting this. Consider accepting this, the level of respect. And I thought, oh my gosh, how can you, first of all, how can you say no to this? But the fact that she asked if I would be willing to accept this was, I think, um, a sign of the way she communicates with folks and the level of respect that you have for folks. So thank you for that. Um, I want to start out very briefly by thanking our hostess and her husband, Cynthia and Chester, your lovely home. She was a, a member of ALFer, and if you talk to any of the ALFers here, they'll tell you that my biggest complaint about ALF was that there was no bathroom, no flushing toilet. When we went. Yeah, you all know that story, and I complained the whole time, but I survived. I'm, I want to thank the board of directors of uh, PACT for this and the friends, the nominating committee. Thank you very much, Brenna and uh, Han, forgive me. And the last comment I want to make is, uh, why is this important? And why is, why is it an honor to be, to be acknowledged along with you? Because everybody here is being acknowledged. And I thought long and hard about this and the answer is very, very clear to me. The values and the work that PAC does, the values of justice, education, advocacy, power to the people, all through community organizing, is the way I grew up. Those are the values that my parents instill in me. Those are the values that my husband and I, we met at UC Berkeley, need I say more? <laughs> um, and hopefully the values that we've instilled in our children. So this is part of the family. The values that you have, the work that you do, is part of, of who I am. So for that reason, um, I'm very honored and I thank you for being here.